2021 was quite a year. We may not want to repeat it, but we certainly ought to celebrate it. So as the year comes to a close, I want to share a few accomplishments for us here at Ivy. And I've promised to keep this under three minutes. So here we go. We went from online to hybrid to lockdown, back to online, and finally returned to in-person learning. We welcome back to campus faculty, staff, and students. Thanks to facilities working around the clock, our environment is clean, healthy, well sanitized, and our classrooms are loaded with new technology to support our learning needs. Demand for all of our degree programs was high, and the quality of our recruits has been excellent. Our PhD cohort was the largest ever in our history. We've graduated 933 students. Placement across our programs exceeded 95%. We launched a new master's in management and analytics, and our program, Centers and Institute, hosted amazing speakers. The former chairman of the Indian Residential Truth and Reconciliation Commission, two former Bank of Canada governors, an Inuit activist, the founder of the Black North Initiative, and the skipper of the first all-women crew to sail around the world. Nine Ivy faculty made it to the list of the top 2% of researchers globally. We celebrated a new CRC and a Helmuth Prize recipient. Our faculty received 18 grants, totaling more than $1.2 million in research funding. Two faculty members published new books, and another is soon to be released. We had 123 refereed articles, including 36 of those being FT. Faculty demonstrated their thought leadership in prominent media outlets such as the Globe and Mail, CBC, the CTV, the Financial Times, BBC, and Forbes, to name a few. Six Ivy faculty were awarded the new Dean's Research Faculty Fellowship, and 11 new faculty joined our team. We implemented new online processes and piloted hybrid work. We implemented a new HR system and Ivy Pub's e-commerce system. We celebrated 30 years of the Business Leader Award, even though we couldn't host an event, and continued to expand entrepreneurship across campus. We received many generous donations for our centers and institutes, including from Pierre L. Morissette Family Foundation, the Sabarin Family Foundation, Ian Ianatowitz, and the Power Corporation. We hired a total of 43 new staff members. We committed to and made significant progress on EDI. We hired a director of culture and inclusion, implemented new programming, new tools, and commitments to targets for faculty, staff, and students. We embedded EDI in our curriculum, provided training for our faculty and staff, and launched version two of the EDI plan. We made changes to the hiring processes to enable more hiring of equity-deserving faculty members. We created 17 new awards of equity-deserving students and celebrated our first MBA Indigenous scholarship recipient. Some other fast facts. Nearly 48 million minutes of Zoom were clocked. We handed out 27,500 masks. We published 362 new cases. We welcomed 17 new babies, and we became the first and only Canadian partner with Exec Online. We launched new roles, committees, and procedures to enhance our governance. We gave back to the community through Social Impact Day, pro bono clubs, and Ivy Field projects, and the United Way. We resumed our ambitious strategic planning process, and that was vetted in November to the community to positive reaction and great feedback. Official launch, 2022. Oh, and our library was featured in a horror film, and Ivy Grad, an Ivy Grad became the Marvel superhero. And we did all this during a global pandemic. None of this could have happened without all our own superheroes. You, the faculty and staff, you made it all happen. Thanks for the tremendous support, and thank you for your commitment, your resilience, and your agility. We sincerely appreciate all you have done to make 2021 successful. Happy holidays from all of us in the Dean's office. <laughs>